مرحبا واهلا وسهلا فيكم I hope you're all well and having a wonderful day This is Ibrahim with you Welcome to another session of conjugating our 11 ton Arabic verbs Before starting today's session I uh, would like to welcome everybody who just joined us recently And I hope you're all having a great time learning Arabic with me and us and everybody and as well I wanted to touch base with the activity book I hope you are really finding a great use of it and if you did and you enjoyed the activity book I would appreciate if you could spare two minutes to give some feedback on Amazon as it helps a lot with that out of the way thank you all very much and very warm welcome to everybody who just joined us recently let's start with today's session the verb for today is kasar 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 which means to break or to fracture Let's have a look at the past tense. Ana kasaret. Inta kasaret. Inti kasarti. Nahna kasarna. Intu kasartu. Huwe kasar. Hiye kasaret. Hene kasaru. Ana kasaret. Inta kasaret. Inti kasarti. Nahna kasarna. Into kasartu, huwe kasar, hiye kasaret, henne kasaru, ana kasaret, inta kasaret, inti kasarti, nahna kasarna, into kasartu, huwe kasar, hiye kasaret, henne kasaru. The present tense Anna Bixer Inta Bixer Inti Bixeri Nahna Bixer Into Bixeru Hoe Bixer Hey Bixer Henne Bixeru Anna Bixer Inta Bixer Inti Bixeri Nahna Bixer انتو بتكسرو هو بيكسر هي بتكسر هن بيكسرو انا بكسر انت بتكسر انتي بتكسري نحن بنكسر انتو بتكسرو هو بيكسر هي بتكسر هن بيكسرو if you're new to the channel, uh, at the end of the session, I'll give you some uh, info on the subject pronouns and any of the t other tenses uh, in greater detail. So stay tuned to the end and I'll give you some more information that you might find it helpful. The future tense. Ana rah ekser. Inta rah tekser. Inti rah tekseri. نحن رح نكسر انتو رح تكسرو هو رح يكسر هي رح تكسر هن رح يكسرو انا رح اكسر انت رح تكسر انتي رح تكسري نحن رح نكسر انتو رح تكسرو هو رح يكسر هي رح تكسر هن رح يكسرو أنا رح أكسر أنت رح تكسر أنت رح تكسري نحن رح نكسر أنتو رح تكسرو هو رح يكسر هي رح تكسر هن رح يكسرو The passive voice, maksur, maksur, broken or fractured. The verbal noun, kasr, so breaking or fracture. So this is the verbal noun, kasr, kasr. The imperative, ikser, ikseri, ikseru, ikser, ikseri, ikseru. The active participle, Kasr, kasre, kasrin. Kasr, kasre, kasrin. Kasr, 
امبارح كسرت مزهريتي الجديدة امبارح yesterday كسرت I broke مزهريتي my vase الجديدة the new yesterday I broke my new vase دير بالك pay attention دير بالك pay attention or look out really nice phrase for you to memorize it دير بالك لا تكسر اللعبة don't break the toy لا تكسر اللعبة لا تكسر اللعبة you know pay attention don't break the toy العاصفة العاصفة كسرت الشجرة قدام بيتنا الليلة الماضية العاصفة كسرت الشجرة قدام بيتنا الليلة الماضية العاصفة storm كسرت broke الشجرة the tree قدام in front of بيتنا our house الليلة the night الماضية the past الليلة الماضية last night هي كسرت سلسالة لما كانت عم تركض امبارح هي كسرت سلسالة لما كانت عم تركض امبارح هي كسرت she broke سلسالة سلسالة her necklace so سلسال it means necklace and the R belongs to her سلسالة her necklace لما كانت لما كانت when she was عم تركض running امبارح yesterday she broke her necklace when she was running yesterday لما لعبوا كرة القدم جون كسر رجله اليمين لما لعبوا كرة القدم جون كسر رجله اليمين لما لعبوا when they played كرة القدم football جون is جون كسر broke رجله his foot اليمين the right he broke his right foot السنة الماضية وقعت من الدراجة وكسرت إيدي السنة الماضية وقعت من الدراجة وكسرت إيدي السنة الماضية last year وقعت I fell off من الدراجة off the bicycle وكسرت and I broke إيدي my hand لما وقعت when I fell كسرت I broke الدراجة كمان the bicycle as well when I fell I broke the bicycle as well Now let's have a look at the present continuous. أنا عم أكسر أنت عم تكسر أنت عم تكسري نحن عم نكسر أنتو عم تكسرو هو عم يكسر هي عم تكسر هن عم يكسرو أنا عم أكسر أنت عم تكسر أنت عم تكسري نحن عم نكسر انتو عم تكسرو هو عم يكسر هي عم تكسر هن عم يكسرو انا عم اكسر انت عم تكسر انت عم تكسري نحن عم نكسر انتو عم تكسرو هو عم يكسر هي عم تكسر هن عم يكسرو The future tense, or the near future, or the going to form. أنا رايح أكسر. I'm going to break. أنت رايح تكسر. أنت رايح تكسري. نحن رايحين نكسر. أنتو رايحين تكسرو. هو رايح يكسر. هي رايح تكسر. هن رايحين يكسرو. أنا رايح أكسر. I'm going to break. أنت رايح تكسر أنت رايح تكسري نحن رايحين نكسر أنتو رايحين تكسرو هو رايح يكسر هي رايح تكسر هن رايحين يكسرو أنا رايح أكسر I'm going to break أنت رايح تكسر أنت رايح تكسري نحن رايحين نكسر أنتو رايحين تكسرو هو رايح يكسر هي رايحة تكسر هن رايحين يكسرو
The present perfect continuous, if you're clumsy like me, this might be a verb for you. أنا صار لي عم أكسر, I have been breaking. أنا صار لي عم أكسر. أنت صار لك عم تكسر. أنت صار لك عم تكسري. نحنا صار لنا عم نكسر. أنتو صار لكن عم تكسرو. هو صار له عم يكسر. هي صار له عم تكسر. هن صار لهن عم يكسرو. أنا صار لي عم أكسر. أنت صار لك عم تكسر. أنت صار لك عم تكسري. نحنا صار لنا عم نكسر. أنتو صار لكن عم تكسرو. هو صار له عم يكسر. هي صار له عم تكسر. هن صار لهن عم يكسرو. أنا صار لي عم أكسر. أنت صار لك عم تكسر. أنت صار لك عم تكسري. نحنا صار لنا عم نكسر. أنتو صار لكن عم تكسرو. هو صار له عم يكسر. هي صار له عم تكسر. هن صار لهن عم يكسرو. As usual on the left hand side, you've got the translation, so please pause, write these vocabulary down into your scrapbooks and make your own dictionary instead of buying one. Now we've reached the section for you guys who've just joined us recently, I'll give you a very quick intro to these tenses. So here we've got the present uh, continuous. And the am there, it's basically the equivalent of ing. Ing in English comes at the end of the verb. But in Arabic, or in Levantine Arabic, the ing here comes before the verb. And as you see here with every subject pronoun, it does not get conjugated. It stays as it is, and it's am, am, which means ing. Moving on to the near future, here we are using the uh, going to form. And uh, the going to is basically rayah from the verb to go. Here, as you may see, we've got three conjugations only. Rayah would be used for I masculine, you masculine, and he. And Rayha would be used uh, with I feminine. Obviously, here I did not write uh, the I feminine, so I don't mix or confuse people. However, I do alternate between the masculine and feminine as we go. Sometimes I use the masculine here, and sometimes I use the feminine. So with Rayha, Rayha would be used with I feminine, you feminine, and she. And Raihin would be used with we, you group of people, and they. Raih or the going to, then followed by the present tense, it has only three conjugations. Raih, Raiha, Raihin. And each of these are used with three subject pronouns. Looking at the present perfect continuous, here we've got this verb, which is a combination of the verb to become and for, the preposition for. So Sar il have been for and then at the end of il we've got these object pronouns or as well as similarly to what we call them possessive pronouns when we do the conjugation or when we conjugate them and put them all together the overall meaning it means have been so sarli it means i have been sarlak you masculine have been sarlek you mas you feminine have been sarna we have been sarlkon you group of people have been Sarlo, he has been. Sarla, she has been. And then Sarlon, they have been. And it could be followed by either the normal present tense or the present continuous. So this is again absolutely up to you, which you could form. But then the combination then becomes the present perfect continuous. On the far right, we've got the subject pronouns. As you see, I have kept the subject pronouns as we write them in modern standard Arabic. However, in my book, which you will see the link below, uh, some of these subject pronouns, I actually wrote the pronunciation in order to help you in the book because here you are with me on the video, so I give it the actual dialect pronunciation. But in the book, I actually wrote the pronunciation. So the subject pronouns in script, you see them here, they're all written, formal, written form, basically MSA. So Anna, it means I, masculine, feminine. Inta, you masculine. Inti, you feminine. Nahna, we. Into, you group of people. Ho, it's he. He, she. Hene, 
ohumme, which means they. And here we've got the past tense, and the past tense always revolves around a suffix. A suffix, which is an attachment you add it to the end of the verb, and once you add it, it automatically changes the verb into the past tense. So that's the past tense. And here we've got the be prefix present tense. The be prefix, the uh, explanation is within the title because every single conjugation starts with a ba. And this tense is one of the most functional tenses in Levantine Arabic. And I've made a dedicated tutorial on why it's very important. So check that tutorial out in the right hand section or on the card or in the description below, you will see the link for it. So the present tense is all about a prefix. And in some of them would have to add a suffix such as you feminine, you group of people, and they. The future tense in Arabic is pretty much, you will have to proceed the, the present tense, every single conjugation, with rah. So rah means will. We do have other variations, but I'd like to focus on one rather than confusing you with all these variations, so I'd rather stick to one. However, I did mention others in my textbook. So rah, which means will, and it does not get conjugated, it stays as it is with every single conjugation, then it's followed by the present tense without the B. And to answer some of your questions, sometimes students say, can I keep the B like rah bikser instead of rah ikser? You certainly can, because the B is not part of the language, it's purely and merely created in the dialect. The B does not exist, it's not part of the language, it's just created in the dialect. If you have spent a good amount of time memorizing the present tense conjugation, then you could keep it. You could just say rah bikser, rah btikser, rah btikseri, instead of rah ikser, rah tikser, rah tikseri. Choose one conjugation, but be aware of the other. The passive voice and the verbal noun have covered them previously. However, as I promised, I'll be making some more videos on the verbal noun in the coming weeks, months. The imperative is so easy, it's simply you'll take the present tense minus the ba, and for the feminine, you add an E, and for the group of people, you'll add an U. With the active participle, this is a different story. I have made at least five tutorials on the active participle. Simply go to the playlist and search the videos for the active participle, and you've got probably five videos to help you. Finally, we've got these examples here. Definitely write them down, study them, try to play them a number of times, and write these amazing vocabulary into your scrapbooks. And as I mentioned, be proud while you're learning and make your own glossary instead of buying one. In fact, at the end of your study, you'll be able to count and know exactly how many words you know in Arabic. There might be a long way, but it's not impossible. Great guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Till next time, stay safe. Ma salame.